Yo, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. And in this one, we have Konami looking to build an NFT marketplace. So the pretty major news to the NFT space and what that means. So we'll be diving into what they're planning on doing and also the list of games that they currently have in their lineup. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So Konami has actually been in the NFT space. They actually dropped a uh, Castlevania 35th anniversary NFT and it was like auction based on uh, how they dropped it. So yeah, if you're not familiar with that drop, you can definitely check it out they have a listing on open c with the blue check mark 6.5 floor price and it goes up significantly after that um so yeah i didn't expect it to go up that high but i, I did expect these to do uh pretty well to anniversary nft some people are really big fans of that game and it is kind of like vintage right so they have been in the nft space and uh this news marks kind of a bigger announcement that they are kind of going full on into web3 and the metaverse so let's go ahead and jump into this article real quick that was uh written by Cointelegraph. This Japanese gaming giant Konami is seeking to expand its crypto burst talent pool while it eyes the development of Web3 and Metaverse experiences and non-fungible token marketplace. The gaming giant is the latest in a lengthening list of big names signaling interest in expanding its Web3 offerings by seeking to acquire new talent. On October 13th, the company announced that it was recruiting a wide range of talent for system construction and service development relating to the future of metaverse and web3 platforms so that kind of shows you where their goals and mission are kind of at when it when it comes to this big announcement so it says here that this is a publisher behind metal gear solid franchise castlevania dance dance revolution and frogger so they have obviously a big list of games brand and ip in their uh, toolbox so let's take a look at that we have Yu-Gi-Oh, ninja turtles amazing bomber man and many others you scroll down this list obviously Yu-Gi-Oh, tcg that would be massive, especially if they create that themselves and release it. We covered on the channel a leak on a blockchain recently that uh, it was on the dev side of the, in the staging area. It actually said Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I kind of broke that news uh, last year or, or some, it was a while back. So uh, I'll link that below, but nothing was confirmed though. And so it will be interesting to see if they do drop a TCG. We know there's amazing games already in the blockchain space when it comes to trading card games. You can actually battle. I mean, it's very, very fluid and it just makes sense for games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon to get into the, this space with a TCG when you can prove actual ownership of those cards in the game on the blockchain without them ever having to be knocked off ever again and to retain their value. That's been a kind of an issue with Pokemon cards uh, for a long time. We saw Logan Paul in a recent video talk about how he bought this like $500,000 pack of uh, a box of Pokemon cards and they were all fake. They were all knockoffs. And when he opened the pack, it wasn't even as like some crazy other different cards or something like that so it is a problem in the physical side so you can address this with a tcg on the blockchain and really you'll just have your collectors collecting the cards in the or you'll have people actually playing the game which makes it even more fun in my opinion i played card games on the blockchain and they are fun but yeah you can see they have a ton of games we're just continuing to scroll down as you can see castlevania one of those uh, obviously that we know of uh, metal gear solid silent hill i mean the list goes on they've had a lot of popular titles uh, Metal Gear, Yu-Gi-Oh, Castlevania, uh, Bomberman, Frogger, those kind of being the mo more popular ones um, on their on their platform. And you can see uh, many others as well. But yeah, like, let me know what you think about this. I think this is a pretty big announcement. And, uh, you know, they could do even more on other platforms uh, to further promote themselves as well. We know platforms like Vivi, they have partnered up or at least previously had mentioned that they have partnered up with platforms like Capcom. Uh, we do know, I think that they uh, do plan on having having some kind of game uh, NFT drops in the future, obviously Capcom being one of them. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do in terms of the wider NFT space as a whole. We've seen IP and brands like DC drop on multiple different platforms. You know, they kind of dropped on their own. They've dropped on platforms like HRO, uh, Vivi as well. And so it's going to be interesting to see how brands kind of, you know, approach this NFT space, whether they do that themselves or maybe they take the DC approach and kind of do uh, sprinkle a little bit their IP a little little bit everywhere else or do like Disney where it's just all in on Vivi currently. So yeah, time will tell, but this is pretty exciting because this could spell out some utility for some of these NFTs in their games, which could be very, very exciting for gamers. All right. So a lot of people haven't really grasped their heads around the Ready Player One concept yet, which is kind of weird. You know, you think gamers would be like, you know, absolutely thrilled to own their in-game assets like Ready Player One, but uh, they're kind of stuck on this whole cash grabby thing. And rightfully so, there's kind of a lot of scams 
platforms in the NFT space. So they do have a good point there. But in terms of gamers that have already adopted Web3, they already kind of get the picture and are gravitating towards brands that are actually doing stuff like what Konami is doing. So yeah, that's my thoughts around it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What blockchain do you think they're going to partner with? Do you think it's going to be a layer two like Myria or maybe another platform like Polygon? Or let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be like an NFT, be authentic, and I will catch you later. Peace.